Good evening, class, and welcome to Lesson 1.11, Evaluate Numerical Expressions. Uh, let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. In what order must operations be evaluated to find the solution to a problem? So we're going to connect this back to one of our previous lessons, and we're going to think, remember that a numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols. It is not going to have an equal sign. It is not going to have an answer to that. So let's take a look at some other terminology that we're going to have. To evaluate or find the value of, which is the definition for evaluate, a numerical expression with more than one operation, you must follow rules called the order of operations. The order of operations tells you in what order you must evaluate an expression. Now remember, I know some of you learned this last year, so we've got the please remember my, or please forgive my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, so you're going to start with parentheses. Please excuse. Parentheses come first. Exponents come second. Multiplication and division are done at the same time from left to right. Addition and subtraction are done at the same time from left to right. So that is the order of operations, and your acronym for that is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M and D stand for multiplication and division, and A and S stand for addition and subtraction. So let's begin by taking a look at our word problem. It says, a cake recipe calls for four cups of flour and two cups of sugar. To triple the recipe, how many cups of flour and sugar are needed in all? Well, first of all, we need to evaluate. We're going to think to ourselves, three times four plus three times two to find the total number of cups. So we say, Heather did not follow the order of operations correctly. She's got 3 times 4 plus 3 times 2. So this is how Heather solved it. First she added. So she was adding 4 plus 3. So then it became 3 times 7 times 2. Then it says she multiplied to get 42. That's how Heather solved the problem. But let's take a look at how we were supposed to follow the problem. So if we look at 3 times 4 plus 3 times 2, we do not see any parentheses. We do not see any exponents. So then our order of operations says to do multiplication and division from left to right. So we look at, we see 3 times 4. So we know 3 times 4 equals 12 plus 3 times 2. Now when we look at it, we still see multiplication and division. So we've got 12 plus 3 times 2 equals 6. And now we've got 12 plus 6 is 18. So 18 cups of flour and sugar are needed. So if we come back over here to explain why Heather didn't get the problem right, is that first she added. However, if we look at the order of operations, addition and subtraction comes after multiplication and division. So let's take a look at another, another example. It says to evaluate expressions with parentheses. To evaluate an expression with parentheses, follow the order of operations. Perform the operations in parentheses first, multiply from left to right, then add and subtract from left to right. So remember that. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses first. And then you go into multiplication and division, and then you go into addition and subtraction. So, each batch of cupcakes Lena makes uses three cups of flour, one cup of milk, and two cups of sugar. Lena wants to make five batches of cupcakes. How many cups of flour, milk, and sugar will she need to use in all? Um, so, we can write the expression, and we need five batches, so we have five times. And we're doing the times because... Everything over here is going to be the same with each batch of cookies. So we've got our three cups of flour, one cup of milk, and two cups of sugar. 
So it says first perform the operations in parentheses. Well, in parentheses we have 3 plus 1 plus 2. So we know that 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2 more equals 6. Then it says to multiply. And we got 5 times 6 equals 30. So Lena will use 30 cups of flour, milk, and sugar in all. Now, what if Lena makes four batches? Will this change the numerical expression? Well, yes, because the four would replace the five. So instead of a five up here, this would be a four. The value of the numerical expression would change to 24. Because then, instead of 5 times 6, like we have here, it would be 4 times 6. So our answer would be 24 versus 30. Now, we're going to try a couple more. It says to rewrite the expression with parentheses to equal the given value. So it says 6 plus 12 times h minus 3, value 141. So it says to evaluate the expression without the parentheses. So if we do that, evaluating the expression without the parentheses is going to give us an answer of 99. Now we're going to try replacing the parentheses in the expression so the value is 141. So we're going to use the order of operations to check our work. So we're trying to get to 141. So we know that we need to add 6 plus 12 first, so we need to put those in parentheses times 8 minus 3. So 6 plus 12 equals 18 times 8 minus 3. So if we come over here, we know that 18 times 8 is 8 times 8 is 64. Carry our 6 to the tens column. 1 times 8 is 8 plus 6 is 14. So now we have 144 minus 3 and 144 4 minus 3 is 141, and we see that, that our answer equals the value that we were looking for. So by placing the parentheses between, around the 6 and the 12, that gives us our value of 141. Now let's take a look at another one. It says 5 plus 28 divided by 7 minus 4, you, 4 with a value of 11. Well, evaluating the expression without the parentheses gives us an answer of 5 but try replacing the parentheses in the expression so that the value is 11. So we're going to use the order of operations to check our work. So we can actually add two different parentheses to this one to give our answer of 11. We know put it around the 5 and the 28 and the 7 minus 4. So 5 plus 28 equals 33 divided by 7 minus 4 equals 3. 33 divided by 3 equals 11. And we see that our answer matches the value that we were looking for. All right, guys. Well, your password tonight is going to be sunglasses. So make sure you record your password for tonight's lesson and bring it with you to class tomorrow. And I will see you then.